a very good morning to everyone today we have a demo on the muscles of posterior compartment of the leg so in the mus in the posterior compartment we have the calf muscles you can see this muscles is known as the gastrocnemius which consists of the two head that is the medial head and the lateral head of the gastrocnemius this one is known as the lateral head of the gastrocnemius well this is known as the medial head of the gastrocnemius how we can say this is known as the lateral head because this is known as the lateral medullus so it is on the lateral side and this is known as medial medullus so that's how we can say this is known as the the lateral head and that side is known as the medial head of the gastrocnemius let's reflect this muscles that is known as the gastrocnemius now just deep to the gastrocnemius so we have the muscles which is sandwiched between the soleus and the gastrocnemius so this is known as tendon of plantaris so this plantaris is having short belly and the long tendons you can see that this is known as the short belly of the plantaris muscles and this one is known as the tendons of the plantaris right so now we can see the third muscles that is known as the soleus muscles i repeat this is gastrocnemius this is known as the plantaris and the third one that is deeper aspect i am showing you this deeper muscles yes this is known as the soleus muscles which is also known as peripheral heart muscles right now just deep to the soleus you can see this triangular muscles which is known as the the popliteus which is very deep so i am just showing this muscles is known as the popliteus muscles now let's know the other deep muscles which is present in the posterior compartment of the the leg just behind the medial medullus can you see this one this is known as tibialis posterior next one this is flexor hallucis longus right now the third one you can see the bulk muscle which is in the the inner aspect this is known as the flexor digitorum longus and you can see the the nerves and the vessels this is known as the tibial knob which is a branch of the sciatic nerve this is known as the posterior tibial vessels which consist of this is known as the artery which i am showing this is known as the posterior tibial artery with the two veins on the either side right this is known as the achilles tendon which is also known as tendocalcaneus which is formed by the two head of gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles now so these all are the muscles of the posterior compartment of the the leg thank you